The 1974 movie The Longest Yard has stood the test of time, becoming an enduring symbol of the film industry. Its remarkable blend of sports, comedy, and drama captivates audiences even today. As we delve into this classic, one question arises. What enduring qualities do you think make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry? The film boasts an ensemble cast, but one can't help but wonder, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Was it the irreverent Paul Crewe, played by Burt Reynolds, or the tough but lovable coach Nate Scarborough, portrayed by Michael Conrad? But now, it's your turn to share. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Whether it's a first time viewing, an unforgettable cinema outing, or a connection with the characters that left a lasting impact on your life, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The Longest Yard has indeed left a lasting impression on the cinematic landscape, and your insights and recollections can add depth to the appreciation of this timeless classic. So, share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation alive. The Longest Yard is a 1974 sports comedy film directed by Robert Aldrich. The story follows Paul Wrecking Crew, portrayed by Burt Reynolds, a former NFL quarterback who lands in a high-security prison after a series of reckless actions. Inside the prison, he's coerced by the warden and the sadistic guards into forming a football team comprised of inmates to play against the prison's team. The semi-pro guards. Crew assembles a diverse group of prisoners, including a memorable character named Caredacre, and together, they prepare for the ultimate showdown on the football field. The film blends elements of comedy, drama, and sports action, creating a unique style that resonated with audiences. The Longest Yard became an iconic sports movie and inspired a 2005 remake, as well as contributing to Burt Reynolds' status as a Hollywood legend. Its impact on popular culture is evident in references and parodies in various media over the years, making it a timeless classic in the world of sports films. Sonny Sixkiller, who plays the part of the Indian, is a Cherokee and was an outstanding quarterback for the University of Washington in the early 1970s. He led the UW out of its perennial basement dwelling finishes in the Pac-8. The season after Sixkiller left Washington, the Huskies returned to the cellar. Sixkiller went on to play in the World Football League before leaving professional football in 1976, two years after the release of The Longest Yard. Michael Fox, who played the announcer, actually wrote his commentary himself. Then Governor Jimmy Carter facilitated the production in Georgia. This background adds interesting layers to the 1974 movie The Longest Yard, enriching the story behind the scenes and the talented individuals who contributed to the film's success. The climactic football game in the 1974 movie The Longest Yard is a standout feature, occupying a significant 47 minutes of the film's running time. This extended game sequence is a key element that adds intensity and excitement to the story. It showcases the inmates' transformation into a formidable team, led by Paul Wrecking Crew, as they take on the semi-pro prison guards, the Mean Machine. The game's duration allows for a thorough exploration of the players' skills, strategies, and the high-stakes nature of the match. It keeps the audience engaged and invested in the outcome of this epic showdown on the football field. The extensive focus on the football game highlights the film's blend of comedy, drama, and sports action, making it a unique and enduring classic in the world of sports films. The game's intensity, the camaraderie among the inmates, and the clash between the underdog prisoners and the overconfident guards all contribute to the movie's enduring appeal. The Longest Yard from 1974 is more than just a sports comedy, it's a riveting tale of redemption and teamwork with the climactic football game at its heart, showcasing the power of determination and unity in the face of adversity. This iconic game sequence remains a defining moment in the film's legacy. Richard Keel, known for his towering presence and iconic roles, once revealed that his part in the 1974 movie The Longest Yard was among the two roles he was most proud of in his career. Heel credited this role as his first significant opportunity in a major list movie, allowing him to shine on screen and ultimately paving the way for his casting in the TV series Barbary Coast. Heel's portrayal in the film as a formidable presence adds an intriguing layer to the movie's legacy, showcasing how the sports comedy played a pivotal role in his career trajectory. 
The Longest Yard from 1974 continues to be celebrated for its impact on both its cast and the world of sports films, demonstrating that it was more than just a game on the field. Three, producer Albert S. Ruddy says that his inspiration for the film came from a friend of his who was a promising football player. After a career-ending injury, his life took a downward spiral. He was working a minimum wage job at a sandwich shop and was being mistreated by his snobbish girlfriend. Producer Albert S. Ruddy found the spark for the longest yard in the real-life struggles of a promising football player. This friend's career came crashing down due to a career-ending injury, leading to a challenging life. He found himself in a dead-end job at a sandwich shop, facing mistreatment from his snobbish girlfriend. Ruddy drew inspiration from this scenario to create the film we know today. Ray Nitschk, the Green Bay Packer great, played a game called Kill the Star while on the playing field with Burt Reynolds. Nitschk's presence added an authentic and intense element to the 1974 movie The Longest Yard. As the former NFL star brought his real-life football skills to the screen, the on-field action became even more compelling. Nitschk's involvement in the film showcased the dedication to realism and sports authenticity that contributed to the movie's enduring appeal. This on-set interaction between Nitschk and Reynolds highlights the commitment to creating a genuine football experience in the film. In DVD commentary, Burt Reynolds states that Dinah Shore and his parents are among the spectators seated in the end zone at the game's end. It's a noteworthy detail that adds a personal touch to the film's final moments. Dinah Shore, a well-known singer, and Reynolds' own parents were present during the climactic scene, watching the intense showdown unfold. This behind-the-scenes insight offers a unique glimpse into the connections and moments that made The Longest Yard an even more memorable experience for those involved. It's a reminder of the real people who contributed to the film's enduring legacy. Fading reels, the tragic collapse of iconic studios, and its effect on The Longest Yard's cast member in vintage Hollywood. The 1974 movie The Longest Yard has a rich history, but it's not all about what happened on the screen. Behind the scenes, there were significant changes in the Hollywood landscape that affected one of its cast members. As iconic studios faced a tragic collapse, one of the film's actors found themselves navigating the shifting tides of vintage Hollywood. The world of cinema was rocked by the decline of legendary studios, and this had repercussions for a member of the The Longest Yard cast. Their journey in the industry was shaped by the industry's transformation, highlighting the challenges and uncertainties that many actors faced during that era. Vintage Hollywood had its ups and downs, and this particular cast member had to adapt to a changing landscape. The story of their struggle and resilience is a testament to the resilience of those who sought to make their mark in a shifting world. This behind-the-scenes tale sheds light on the human side of the entertainment industry and how the decline of iconic studios impacted the lives of the people who brought The Longest Yard to life. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the unforgettable 1974 classic, The Longest Yard, we encourage you to pause and reflect on the profound resonance it may have etched in your own life. This iconic film, filled with its blend of humor, grit, and camaraderie, has the remarkable ability to stir up unique memories and emotions in each of us. Perhaps you recall the first time you witnessed the underdog inmates taking on the prison guards in an epic game of football. Did it ignite a sense of hope and rebellion within you? Or maybe you reminisce about the clever humor and impeccable wit that punctuated the storyline, leaving you in stitches. Did Burt Reynolds' unforgettable performance as Paul Crew leave an indelible mark on your cinematic experience? Now is the moment to share your thoughts, your cherished memories, or the lessons you drew from this cinematic gem. What was it about The Longest Yard that captivated your heart and imagination? Was it the rallying cry of the underdogs, the powerful bond of friendship, or the thrill of the game itself? We'd love to hear your personal connection with this masterpiece. Share your favorite moments, reflections, or anecdotes about The Longest Yard, and let the conversation flow. Thank you for sharing your time and interest with us. Your unique perspective adds depth and richness to the legacy of this film. Remember, your story is as vital a part of the cinematic tapestry as the movie itself. Until next time, keep the love for movies alive, and keep exploring the stories that make us who we are. This outro.